Now let's see what is web analytics. In today's class, we are going to learn what is web analytics, what is clickstream analytics, what is engagement quantification framework, and what is anonymous versus registered users analysis. So first let's see what is web analytics. That is analyze the web. We know that nowadays all are using um, latest internet technologies, information technologies, and all is being done in social media, so right, web. So web analytics is a collection, reporting, and analysis of website data. Actually, the data are there. So data set is there. For web analytics also, data sets are being considered. So that is, uh, it is the analysis of the collection, report, and website data that is web analytics provides insights and data that can be used to create a better user experience for website visitors and we can see who all are visiting our site how long they are being there so that is website analytics and you know that that is suppose i am interested in a particular website i will be there for some time okay else i will quit when where as soon as i enter i will quit from that so that is the importance of website analytics okay it can measure it can analyze the data or the information related to web pages different data collection methods are there in web analysis first one is log files and in that the first is ncsa common log that is this includes the client ip address client identifier visitor username date and time that is ncsa common log next one is ncsa combined log that is in addition to the common log data it is having the referring url visitors web browser and operating system information and the cookies okay what is cookies cookies are actually the text files with small pieces of data that is similar to username it will have include the username or the password it will be having a small set of data that is NCSA combined log. Next is NCSA separate log. That is in addition to the combined log, it is having uh, three files also. That is access log, referral log, and agent log. Access is there. That is a characteristics, what, have, what it has done, and the referral, where it has gone. Agent, uh, that is who is a leader. That is from where it is coming to that, like that. So that is a separate log. Last th fourth one is W3C extended log. This contains user defined fields and identifiers followed by the actual entries and default values and are represented by a dash. That is in between dashes will be there. Identifiers will be there. Data fields will be there. And in between you can see uh, dash representation also. Okay. And the next method is page tagging. So what is page tagging? That is invisible image is used to detect when a page has been successfully loaded. That is when a page has been successfully loaded, invisible images are used to detect that particular process. That is page tagging. Okay. Next is there are at least two categories of web analytics, off-site and on-site. That is off-site refers to web measurement and analysis regardless of whether you own or maintain a website. That is, it is not bothering. That is off-site. You are not being, you are not maintaining a particular website. That's it, off-site. And when you are maintaining a particular website, that is on-site web analytics. Now, benefits of website analytics and tracking. That is, you can know who are the visitors, how long, what is the traffic, and uh, uh, use an IP lookup database, and a personalized URL will be there. That is, you have seen different types are there, right? So, based on that, gauge the success of, of other marketing activities and see your match rate rise. Know exactly what your customers are looking for. See where you are losing the customers. Find out how to optimize your website. So these are the benefits. That is, you are understanding what, how it is working, how much traffic it is, so how much people are accessing it, how much visitors are there. So based on that, you can take proper decisions and you can analyze the business. Sample web analytics data are there. 
some some are given here audience data and audience behavior that is audience data means that is many data will be there some samples are data about the audience and the behavior of the audience so number of visits new versus returning visitor ratio what country they are from they are the audience data and audience behavior is common landing pages common exit pages that is continuously who is using that frequently used visited pages length of the time spent that is what the behavior of the audience so these are the type of data which were which we are collecting in web analytics and you are analyzing the business okay Next is click stream analytics. That is the next topic. So now let's see the definition. Click stream. That is we know that in the latest technology, everything is beyond a single click. Okay. So you can understand how it is working, how long, that is how many clicks. Everything is being counted and recorded and analyzing it. That is click stream analysis. Is a record of a user's activity on the internet, including every website and every page of every website that the user visits, how long the user was on a page, in what order the pages were visited. So related to the page, whatever the user is doing, what, what he is clicking and what he is go, where he is going. So that is click stream analysis. So these are the benefits of click stream analysis uh, that is the first one is click path optimization that is how the visitor is traveling what is the path he is following how how much how many uh, pages he is visiting and that is click path optimization how long he is in that that is it next one is market basket analysis the customer's behavior can be analyzed in this market basket analytics we know that when we go for online shopping cart are there right so you are you are selecting some and you are putting it in your cart then add to cart so based on that uh, the customer's behavior can be shown next is next best product analysis that is we know that is when using the click stream only clicking only we are going deep inside and we are selecting the new best products so that also it can be analyzed and that is we can search right so when we are going on searching some suppose you got something new so you are searching it and based on that the analysis is happening so that is what next best product analysis website resource allocation that's the other one we know that when you are you suppose you are frequently using a particular uh, your taste is somewhat reading reading horror textbooks always you are reading like that so no else so what you will do is you will always search related to that okay so next is that when you open your website or if, when you search something that will be boosted up that websites related to your taste they will be boosted up that is website resource allocation so these are the benefits of click stream analysis that is based on the click it is clear that what is the behavior of the customer next one is engagement quantification frameworks so engagement may include the concept of public participation engagement also incorporate aspects of community stakeholder or public relations it's a process by which government organizations connect in the development and implementation of decisions that affect them that is how the government the organizations the communities and the individuals connect in the development of an organization or uh, helps for the decision making that is engagement that is involvement engagement may include the concept of public participation public participation is a, it is not closed one it is an open one that is engagement effective engagement that means it will be useful right effective engagement clear relevant timely communication transparent decision making inclusiveness collaboration cooperation and integrity so these are the effective engagements so it will be clear it will be relevant timely communication will be there and it will be transparent decision making will be transparent inclusiveness important things might have been included collaboration and cooperation good cooperation will be there and it should be uh, 
uh, truthful. Okay, that is integrity. Engagement through the project life cycle. So you have to plan the concept, opt to the analysis, preliminary design, then detailed design, and then construct it. That is engagement through the project life cycle. So when you are getting a project, so the steps can be, you have to plan it, you have to select the analysis, and then based on that, you have to design it primary stage, then you have to go for the detailed design, and then at last you have to construct it. That is what in a project we are doing. That is a engagement through, that is a participation of the outsiders. Okay. Next is anonymous versus registered users analysis. Two types of re users, registered users and anonymous users. Registered users, they have been registered uh, in a website, in a program or any other thing. So they are identified by the usernames. That is, they have registered. Next one is anonymous users. Anonymous users, they have not been registered. So they are tracked by their IP addresses. Okay. So these are the they, this is the registered user and anonymous user. So today we have seen web analytics. And in that clickstream analytics, we have seen engagement, we have seen and registered users and anonymous users. Hope it is clear for you. Thank you.